wakey, wakey, we gotta go. All right, boot camp today. What you need is a bench, dumbbells, always have different ones, heavier and lighter, and a hurdle. This is a hurdle, but if you do not have this, if you have uh, something to jump over, you can put a towel, raise the towel so you can jump over, okay? C come up with an idea, you will be surprised how the idea appears in your head if you don't have a hurdle, okay? So we're gonna start with a warm up on the floor. And the warm up will be, this is my station, okay? Come, come next to me, come next to me. We're gonna start with the warm up with the stretch strap. You don't have a stretch strap, you can use a monster band. Monster band is that loop band that you can use. We're gonna start with, look, just going up and down with that leg. And what this does is stretching the hamstrings and the calf. Those stretch straps are available on Amazon. They cost between $20 to $30. This one is stretchy. I love this one, guys. This is like my favorite. So we're gonna go up and down with that leg just to get mobility, stretch the lower body. Now we're gonna go right into the glute. Look, I'm pulling that leg in and extending it. So again, if you wouldn't have that stretch strap right now, you can use a little, pretty much your own, your own hands. Look, just stretch, just stretch. And the hamstring stretch to get without that bend. Your leg, one leg is bent, one leg is straight, and you would reach here. That's a hamstring stretch right there, okay? So I'm giving you an option right now. You have a stretch strap, we're gonna go outside, outside, outside. Stretching the inner thighs, right? Outside. Straight, straight leg, there we go. Take a deep breath in and exhale. A few times and make sure you guys get that stretch strap, it's so good. You travel, you go somewhere, you go on vacation, hopefully eventually, we go, we travel, and you're gonna have this, such a use, especially when you sit on a plane and you need to stretch. So now, right arm is on the floor, left leg, right leg is up in the air, left hand holds that stretch strap, and we're going right across. And again, if you wouldn't have the stretch strap, it's the same idea. Look, you're bending that leg, you're going across. You're stretching the lower back and the glute, right there. Now, you don't have the stretch strap, you're bringing sideways that leg right now to stretch the quad. And loosen up, you have this stretch strap, Bring this over your shoulder and loosen up. And again, bring it over your shoulder. Boom, like that. Nice work, let's do the other leg. So again, you don't have a stretch drop. Good morning, everybody, good morning. We're gonna extend left leg, right leg is up to the side. You're, you are totally straight. Reach forward towards your toes and sit tall. And reach forward towards your toes and sit up. But if you have a stretch strap, you're doing a hamstring stretch, left loop, like this, up and down. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Make sure that you're flexing your toes. Don't point them because that's not a stretch. Flexion is here. That is going to hit the hip and the hamstring. Look, up and down, just like that. Hold for two, three seconds. This is active stretch. You want to really get those legs going. Good. Now we're going to go out to the side. So you want to go out, especially out far, right? Hello. Out to the side, right? All the way out. Right hip is flat down. Left leg is open. Lift it up and bring it back down. Now, if you don't have a stretch drop, I would not necessarily recommend that movement because it might be hard for you to bring that leg. And it's not about work. It's about stretching. So if you lift that leg up and down, you're really working, right? So you need that support of the stretch strap. Let's go opposite. So right hand holds the left leg right now. Left arm is on the floor. Go across. So we're stretching the front of the shoulder, right? All the front of the shoulder, the interior side. Not only the shoulder, it goes down along the side of your arm, yes. So you don't have a stretch strap, look, boom, like that. You're gonna stretch that lower back, bending the knee, breathing out constantly. And let's finish with our quad stretch. So you're gonna use the stretch
stretch, stretch straps just like that. Boom. Behind you, roll it over your shoulder. Feel it right there in front of your leg. If you don't have it, you can just get that leg going right here, okay? All right. And time. With this stretch strap, we're going to do a few motions here. Just loosening up the shoulders, front and back. This is a very good exercise just to see your shoulder mobility. Just bring it front and back. You can have a literally a pole here doing it. A stick something because your shoulders should have that range of motion you would be surprised by doing it whoa i can't do it right yes few times one more good time you can just toss this to the side let's stretch our sides reach so you're gonna reach up and over reach with that left hand going down remember you see me opposite and slowly bring it down left arm up and then right hand slides down over that leg. You feel that, that good stretch, right? And again, let's have a long beat for the spine. Breathe out. Bring that arm up and over. Slowly. Stretch should be slow. Not ballistic. Not bouncing. I'm going to welcome you all. I see hello. Hello, Paola. I see Edu. Joanna, nice, nice, awesome work. Okay, so listen up. Get those dumbbells going. We're going to be using one dumbbell, and then at the end I'm going to tell you if you need two dumbbells. So start with lighter, and then you're going to build yourself up because we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of repetitions here. I'm going to set up the clock. We're going to start on the bench. If you don't have a bench, you do this on the floor. And we're gonna start with right arm, chest, press. Right arm, chest press. Three, two, one. You are going. Right arm, chest press. I'm laying down. If you don't have a bench, you do this on the floor. Ready? Let's do this. Regular chest open, 90 degree angle. I am a little bit on the side right here. The whole idea is to use your core a little bit more, right? Because you need to balance. Just like that. Chest sticks out, open. Go down on the bench. The good thing on the bench is that you can go a little bit lower than your shoulder level, right? On the floor, you're tapping the elbow to the floor gently and coming right back up. You are not resting on the floor. Front squat with that right dumbbell. I'm starting with a light one. The same arm, the same arm, let's do it. Front squat. Squat down and up. So now, with the squats, you're pushing your hips back. Your knees should be in line with your ankles, not your toes. You can also use the bench to squat and stand up if this is easier for you. Or maybe you just starting. Keep on going, honey, keep on going. Up and down. Look, my toes, my legs are six to 10 degrees. My dumbbell is not resting on that shoulder. It's hovering right above. It's parallel grip. I'm breathing out here. Deep breath in and exhale. You're gonna start getting ready for that right arm roll. Right arm roll right here. You're gonna get a hand of it. Left leg on the bench, right leg here. Let's do this. Rowing. Right arm. Do not switch the arms on me, okay? So my back is straight. My right leg is on the floor. I'm resting on the bench. You will have to rest on anything at your household, maybe a couch, maybe you have a stool, but it should be a height no lower than your knees, please, okay? Knees and height, a little bit. So your leg is resting on the floor and you're just doing a single arm row on your right. We're gonna be preparing to do the same thing on our left, Squeeze that bicep, tricep. Keep yourself here stable, steady. Left arm immediately. Go. Left arm. Left arm right here. So again, look, chest is open. You can keep the other arm on your belly just to see how it's engaging. It's gonna help you to like kind of keep in mind, oh, I gotta squeeze those abs, right? 
I gotta keep them tight. Deep breath in and exhale. Tight, strong. Nice work. Don't go fast. Go slow. And you see, you gotta keep that balance going because it pulls you on the left side now, right? So you gotta really stay as stable as possible. Yes, we should be start getting a little warmer. I'm still working with my light dumbbell on the front squat. Come on, come on. It's only five seconds in between. So again, look guys, this is close, but this is not resting. Look what will happen if it's resting. You're not engaging the bicep enough, right? Go, 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 squatting, squatting. There you go. Now, on the extension part, don't lock your knees. Don't go forward like this, okay? Because then what's happening? You're actually putting so much pressure on your lower back. It's all about the muscles, not the joints. It's not about hyperextending or squeezing the joints. The muscles, right? The muscles, that's what we're working on. That's it. Now you're gonna feel this in your shoulder. Obviously, I want you to push your hips back first. Then the knees will follow. Good job. Now we're gonna go on the other side of the bench, right? Your right leg will be on the bench, guys. Right leg, right arm. Left arm is rolling, roll it. Now I gotta hold my head a little bit different. Because I feel it from different push-ups and other things that it's like a little sore. The soreness in the hand the muscle. Can you imagine? Yes, this can happen. So I'm just holding in like a fist position right here, and this is totally fine. Now the, the leg is close towards the bench. You're squeezing, you're pulling. The breathe out is on the top part. Remember, your breathing has to go in sync with the motion. Beginning, end. Beginning is always inhale. Exhale is at the end. Inhale, exhale. Good. Now we're gonna get two dumbbells alternating. Go. Ah! Am I on the bench? Yes. Look. At the top position. One arm at a time. The top, you're holding the top. Yes. Deep breath in and exhale. Oh yeah. Yes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm still working only with 20 and it's okay. Eventually I'm gonna switch it, but this is still a lot. We're going for 45 seconds non-stop. So you, your arm is actually working constantly because you're not switching it. So this one must just feel challenging. So realize that, that Again, I said this before, that you might be doing different working, workouts, different exercises, and I'm going to be like, wait, 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 how can I lift a little lighter? Because it's the breakdown, right? So now, front squats, look, front squat, press, down, press up, down, press, down. Yeah, full arm extension, squat and press, watch that lower back, okay? Here especially because you're bringing object overhead. So if you your lower back is bothering you, definitely don't go heavy here, please. Only light. And if you're starting this show, this show meaning peak physique, and you have a lot of weight to lose, don't bother lifting heavy over, overhead, okay? What's next? Bend overall. Now we gotta do alternating arms. We're gonna go one arm at a time right here. Or the other option would be row, but then you have to switch and row, and it's gonna take you too much time. So I prefer this, one arm at a time. So bend over position, 45 degree angle. Stick your butt back, abs are tight, glutes are engaged, row it, squeeze it, squeeze your shoulder blades together, Abs tight, abs tight. We are going. The hurdle will be at the top, at the end of the whole pile. Now look, get yourself back to that bench press. Go, listen carefully, keep on going. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do. Right arm, back to right arm. Keep on going. After the right arm, you are not going to stand up to do front squat. 
you are going to switch to your left arm. Got it? Yes. So we're going to go two presses, two squats, ah, and two bend over rows. Ah, immediately. But on each side. Now you see how your lower back is working here, especially if you are on the bench. Ah. Now switch, sit up, get that dumbbell. Don't ever switch the dumbbell at, above your face and go. I will actually bring my legs up here, at least one. So it feels a little better on my lower back. Because that lower back is so tender. We're doing the planks and Having that mesh in my stomach, it's always such a challenge, but it gotten better. And that's the whole point, right? We're getting better. So here and there, if you're gonna feel some aches and pains, that's the part of the game. Just deal with it, who cares? Ah! Front squat. Right arm. Let's do it. So now look. You see how the breakdown goes? Your right, your left. So now you're doing squat. So really, back to the right arm. Your right arm already recovered. You might find yourself, wait a second. Now it could go heavier than in the first one, even though we're switching the arms. Here, you see? That's the point. It recovered. It gives you like 20, 30 seconds of recovery. That's what your body needs. But if we change this order, it's totally different. Now your legs might be feeling it because you're squatting for over a minute straight right now with five seconds in between the 45. Switch because this is only five seconds. That's it. Ready? Let's do this. Now remember what I told you. Engage. You're going to go low. Tight squat. Butt on fire. Quads on fire, hamstrings on fire. Yes, look straight ahead, don't look down. So you want that good posture with your back. You don't want to round it. <sighs> Breathing out. <sighs> we have one more row right, row left. Good, look how many sets here. This is nice. Total of five on your chest. <sighs> Good work, good work. Awesome, right into that bend over. On the bench, please, on the bench. Right arm. Go, squeeze it, row it. Tight. So don't let that arm get loose on the way down. It's still nice and strong. Ugh. Good work. Awesome job. Ah. You're gonna stand up for about five seconds and you're gonna switch. All right, but not yet. Back straight, back straight. Ah. Right here, you see the switch? I'm right here, right way. Go, good, good. boom, down. That leg is close towards the bench. I'm engaging my whole stomach here. My head is underneath my shoulder. My leg is resting on that bench. Pull that stomach in. And again, you should not be going so heavy immediately if you're just starting these exercises. Please, your body has to condition, learn, learn the movement. First is the movement of the movement pattern, technique, before we add the load. Remember that. Good, we're gonna get that hurdle going. Don't worry, I'm gonna reset that to get the hurdle. Get yourself ready, and I'm gonna reset that clock for us, okay? We're gonna be jumping. Just make sure that there is no dumbbells around here. 
I told you this before, put a towel, put something that is a little bit higher off the floor, just above your ankle. And if you're afraid of jumping, towel actually is awesome. God forbid you're gonna step over it, nothing's gonna happen. Ready? We're gonna be just doing a lateral hops. So lateral hop goes like this, right? And you can rebound or go non-stop. Three, two, one. There you go, just like this. Side to side. You can go non-stop or you can go jump, wait, jump, wait. Or you can go hop over, hop over. That's another way, okay? You, just, you can go like a skip mode. That's fine. Whatever you can do. We're just increasing that heart rate a little bit more. Haven't been jumping much, but this is all good. For some of you who prefer a jump rope, you could even get a jump rope. So, fine. This is always a way, right? Get ready for the next round. All right, guys. Bench is done for now. We're gonna be doing close grip press on the floor. The same breakdown. We're starting with right arm. <clears throat> Get ready because that second one is deadlift. So you're gonna have a little heavier lifting from the floor. You don't have a dumbbell, use a kettlebell. Awesome tool to do actually alternating on the deadlift. Ready? Guys, can you hit the button, please? Close grip. So, arm is close towards you. Knees are bent. There is no hip extension here. Elbow is close towards the rib cage, 90 degree angle when the dumbbell goes down. So, pay attention. So, the top of the dumbbell will be going towards your shoulder. Head is down, shoulders are down. We're not lifting our head. We're looking at the ceiling. Deep breath in is down and exhale is up. I want 90 degree angle here. Oh yeah, good work, feels good to lift heavy dumbbells. Nice work everybody, nice work. Deadlift. So now we're gonna be switching. Well, first is right arm, so then we're gonna be switching. I said this to get ready. Look, suitcase. So we stay as even as possible. Lean forward and stand up. So sideways, I'm hinging. It's not a squat. My upper body, it's going towards my knees and my quads. You see how I'm hinging down? That's like you would lift a suitcase. It's a it's really, it's called a suitcase dead left. You're picking up the suitcase and you're standing up. There you go, just like that. So you gotta stay even. You gotta stay even, as even as possible. High plank, renegade roll. Let's get moving. Right arm. You can have left hand on the floor or left hand on a dumbbell. If you have an on the dumbbell, you're gonna be elevated. That's even harder because that right dumbbell is not gonna touch the floor. <sighs> so the challenge is, yes, if you, can, if you don't need to touch the floor, that's awesome. Feet should be wider here. Bring that arm way behind. Stay as straight as possible. Now we're swimming, now we've had, right? Back to your left arm. Left arm close grip press. We know how this goes now. Ah, let's move. Yes, yes, we are here, knees are bent. 90 degrees. And then press that dumbbell slowly down. 
and slowly up. Control. Good work. Remember that right arm can hold. Hold right here on the belly button. It's fine. On the floor. It's fine. Breathe out, breathe out. Don't stop. Deadlift. Deadlift. First rep as important as the last one. You gotta stay even. Look, you are uneven now. So you gotta balance it out. Now your core is working here like crazy. Now, double, double work for that arm. Really triple because this arm has to hold this dumbbell three times in a row. Crazy, right? Yes. Stand up. Straight, straight, guys. Don't go like this. All right? You got to feel, you got to almost imagine that you have a dumbbell in your right hand. That's the best way to describe it. Imagine that you even. All right, back to the floor, high plank position. Now, some of you might have a difficult time do this. Look, you're gonna just roll with your arm if you have to. If you cannot lift that dumbbell, that's okay. Or do one lift and hold. Do whatever you can do at this point, right? We gotta try it. We cannot cut ourselves short. We gotta try it. You gotta see how it feels. Test it. Yes. Keep that hand underneath the shoulder. Don't keep it too wide. Just straight in line. Abs are tight here. The whole body is engaged. Quads, glutes, abs. Everything is working. Alternating arm presses. Please, two dumbbells. Go. I'm going to reset the clock, guys, because we lost 10 seconds and I don't want that for you. Go, go. Remember what happens, right? Close grip press. Did I? I think I'll keep on going. I grabbed not the right down. Too bad for you. We gotta start again. Sorry guys, we're going again. I had a 35 and 25 in my arm. No, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, let's press. So on the top position, one arm at a time. Squeeze it, you are like cursing me right now. What the hell, third time. Yes. <sighs> That's fine, I'm okay with that. Totally fine. At the top, at the top, both dumbbells above your chest. Squeeze that strong exhale, that extension, squeezing the shoulder blades. And on the exhale, your abs working like crazy. Now that suitcase deadlift that I told you. Either look here, boom, and you're switching. Or you're gonna switch here. Both are as good. So it's up to you which one you're gonna choose. Just be very stay as straight as possible. I see doing both. Nice. Ha. Stay straight and watch those toes. Ha. Nice work. And high plank, <clears throat> renegade roll. You need to stay in high plank and rolling, alternating. You know how it goes. Row it. Row. Squeeze. Row. Squeeze. Good job. Work. Nice 
work. Awesome job. Remember, we starting with in a row, right arm, then left arm, right? You remember that? Right arm, close grip press, and then left arm immediately. Ooh. Press, press, right on. I hope you are with me. Yeah, this is a tempo, right? But not a tempo here. The tempo of the switch is pretty fast. I'm not giving you much time. I want you to really hurry, grab those dumbbells, and move to the next exercise. Press, press. Switch the dumbbell about your face. Uh, go. Chest is out. close towards your side. Remember, this is not a regular press like we did before. Get up, get up. Right arm. Left, left. We gotta move. We gotta move, big freaks. We gotta move, Marines. That's what daddy said, okay? Uh, move out, Marines. Feels good to be a military. Ah, gives you powers. I'm no. just, of course, I'm joking. Whew. Yes, sir. No arguing. Just following the orders. <laughs> Back is straight. Ah. Ah. Don't go like like this. All right, it's not gonna get you anywhere. Left. The hurdle 
is coming up. The hurdle is coming up. Almost there, almost there. Do not give up on me. you just maybe the arm or whatever you can always go this way if this feels better okay there's always a positioning adjustment so just kind of feel your body okay feels good you got it slow and control just the right arm elbow along the side abs tight glutes tight squeeze Lower bridge. Now, the dumbbell goes on your right leg. Go. You can hold it like that. Right leg only. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Up and down. Hips do not relax on the ground. Hips tap and your glutes tap and come right back up. Now, heels are dig into the ground. Knees are in line with your heels. Your feet shouldn't be far out from your glutes. It should be literally, when you look, they just totally in line. Those, the ankles are in line with your knees. So not too close towards the butt, not too far out, because you're not gonna get that motion going, right? Tricep extension. We're gonna go right in the leg position right here. So you're going down towards your head and up. I see like dumbbell, it should be in there lighter. You have some light one. If not, just grab like a lighter one. So it's a scope crack pretty much. So how it's done, the dumbbell goes towards your head, the elbow is high, and you're pretty much extending it. But please be careful because you, you're bringing a dumbbell towards your head, okay? So you gotta have a good grip here and squeeze and try not to move the elbow. The elbow is pretty much stationary, okay? A tricep extends the arm, so the work is on the extension part, right? <clears throat> left arm, left arm, left arm bicep curl. Go, go, go. Get up, get up. <sighs> left arm. <sighs> Shoulders back, chest out. The positioning that I always talk about. Knees and hips, square. These are slightly bent, shoulders back and open. How is everybody doing? Awesome, awesome, I see you guys. I see like four of you there. 
Good job. And whoever is doing the session later, we always think of you. I always think of like, who is gonna be coming up? Who is gonna be doing that session? And there is so many of you really that do the replay. So thank you for being a part of this team. Bridge. Let's do it. Oh, come on, up and down. You guys are awesome. Keep on going. Nice work, nice work, squeeze. Go down and come up. Yes, glutes engaged. Glutes engaged, squeeze in. Remember, I hope that you all watched that video about me talking about looking for partner in the workouts. The video was all about when you, when you replay the sessions and you need a partner to work out with that you post on the VIP page and you announce what time you're gonna be exercising and what maybe what session. We're gonna go into tricep. Go, 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 tricep extension. And then you can share your Zoom link immediately. So if somebody's gonna go, they're gonna immediately go into your Zoom and they, you guys can work out together. That's an option. We just came out with this idea for some people that just want partners even though I personally, how I feel about it when I replay the sessions, when I do them, I just love that peace and quiet that it's for myself. And when the coach is talking to me, it's like, I already feel like I have a partner and there's no destruction and no talking, no, no, <clears throat> no pretty much wasting time. It's like a focus because that's what we want, right? We want that focus. We're going bicep curl right and left. Now we gotta alternate, right? Alternating arms. I'm losing my 15 pounds, where is it? Okay, let's do it. Resetting the clock. I know that you guys are late. Go. Resetting the clock right here. So, one arm at a time, right? Right and left. Shoulders back, chest is out. Slow, control, down and up. Slow and control, down and up. Keep on going, lift, down, down, down. Yes, good work. Knees have to be slightly bent. Remember the floor bridge, you can just get at one dumbbell because you're not gonna be switching on the floor these dumbbells, right? So you can put one dumbbell on your legs, maybe a heavier one, and go up and down. Good. One double is fine. Let's do the floor bridge. One double right on top, close on the top of my quads, so it's close towards my hips. Left, 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 left. Abs tight, glutes tight. Barely topping, but at the top, I want you to so squeeze so hard. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Yes. Awesome. Down, down, down and up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice work. Tricep. You're going to be alternating the arms here. So, right, down, left, or from the top position. Down and up, down and up. If you have only one dumbbell, you're gonna work with that one dumbbell, okay? Whatever you have there. Right towards your head. Elbows should not move. We just drop one dumbbell just to keep going. Nice work, nice work. Squeeze that tricep. Squeeze the tricep. Almost there, almost there. Now you remember, right arm bicep curl, then the left arm. Go, go, go. I gotta check the time, make sure that we're good, we're good on time. This is awesome. We have such a good tempo going 
today. Right arm, bicep curl. Guys, we did so much in such a little amount of time. Super cool. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, right arm and then left arm, then the right bridge, left bridge, tricep and tricep, right? Back to back. Go, go, go. Seven seconds. Switch. Don't even drop that dumbbell on me. Good. When you squeeze enough, you're going to feel your obliques on fire. You're going to feel your abs on fire here. Knee slightly bent. Good work. Shoulders back. Chest is out. Yes. Yes. And again. Squeeze and lift. Awesome work. Great. Remember, right arm, right leg, left leg. Right, right leg, left leg. Right leg, that dumbbell is right there. The dumbbell is right there. Just hold it up. Down and up. Down and up. Remember what I told you. The glutes, hamstrings. And immediately we want to switch to the left leg, right? All the hamstrings feel good now. Switch on the other leg. And go, go, go. Tap, tap, tap at the top. Hamstrings and the glutes. Extra squeeze. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Remember about the tricep right arm and then the left arm. Lots of light on the floor. Don't sleep on me. Don't sleep. Right on. That tricep extension. You can hold the other hand, the other arm on it, literally. If you want to do this on the bench, fine. You can do this on the bench. And exhale. Right there. It's tight, right? It's tight. It's tricep is so tight. You can feel it on the extension. But don't hyperextend the elbow. It's like feel the, the muscle, not like hyperextending the elbow, okay? We hear, we hear, breathe out. Switch that dumbbell. Get ready on your left arm. And go down, 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 and up. Hurdle coming up, okay? Hurdle coming up. And then we're going to go straight through one round of all, just holding two dumbbells. There you go, there you go. Go, 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 up and down. Good work. Down and up, squeeze, squeeze. You gotta get up fast after to get to the hurdle, to get to the towel, to jump over. We will have to jump over at home.
Stacy jump just far away from the dumbbells. Soft, soft on the top of your feet. We have been jump those for a long time, guys. And you see how this is out of nowhere a challenge. We have been jumping the rings, but not the hurdles, nothing that was higher off the floor. It's time. Now time for taking a sweet time off. But moment we starting with alternating chest press. On the bench. All right, go, get ready. Alternating chest press. Three, two, one. Regular chest press there. Okay, regular chest press. Do it, do it. Remember from the top position when we did that, one dumbbell is up, squeeze your abs. Stick your chest out. That lift is second. If you want to hold two dumbbells, be my guest. If you want to switch them, that's fine. I'm going to hold, I think, two this time. Now drop the dumbbells. Stand up straight. Lean forward. Right where you're here somewhere, you feel this. Oh, front squat. Nice and nice right. My bad. My mistake. Starting again, front squat. I already went ahead. Front squat, guys. Both dumbbells. Or you're gonna go right here, how we did that front squat. Shoulder presses. Go. Thank you, Casey, for reminding me. I went ahead of myself. Squat, 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 and press. But we're gonna get to the deadlift. Remember, next one will be row. Now, I really like that row on the bench, so we're gonna do single arm on the right, single arm on the left, please. Okay? So we're not gonna do back over, just gonna do back over on the bench, single arm, go. Lift, 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 row. And then we're gonna stand up for a second, reset that spine, that position, and we're gonna do left arm. Squeeze, squeeze, tight. Stand up straight for a second. And go, go, go. Left arm, row it. Good work. Nice, nice, nice. Squeeze it. Leg is close towards the bench. Back is straight. Now you can be tired, but you got to tighten up. That arm, shoulder, abs. Everything here, okay? Close grip press. You can do this on a bench if you want to. Or on the floor. Go. So we were on the floor with the close grip, right? But we're doing alternating, remember? So dumbbell is at the top. One dumbbell down, one dumbbell up. Right here. Like we did the regular chest press. But now you see me how 90 degrees works, right? It's not folding. You would hurt your shoulder. The dumbbells are about your, your shoulder. But when you fold it, the dumbbell goes right towards the rib cage. So you're creating a 90 degrees. This goes fast. Now it's the deadlift. So deadlift both or single alternating legs like we did that, right? Yes, 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 of course. 
You have a kettlebell, you can do this. So I'm keeping my dumbbells along my side. And again, it's not a squat, it's a deadlift. So look, we hinge in for the hips. We leaning forward. You gotta really engage your glutes and your abs here. You're gonna feel this in your glutes and in your hamstrings, right where the attachment is. Breathe out as you're standing up. Deep breath in and exhale. High plank row. High plank row. Go, go, go. High plank row. Go, go, go. Alternating arms. You guys with us. You guys with us. White feet, okay? White feet. So we have a good base. Slowly down, resist on the way down, don't just drop it, heavier the dumbbell, uh, heart is going to be bicep curl, uh. alternating arms, one arm at a time, how are we feeling, we should feel good tired, like good, like the sweat is gone, like you got that awesome energy. You feel you put that work, right? Yes, the growth hormone has been released. The growth hormone makes you lean. You did an awesome job in the morning. Your day is like, it's gonna be awesome day, floor bridge. You can use one dumbbell here, not both, just one dumbbell. It's gonna be much easier. Get it up and down. At the top position, squeeze, guys. Squeeze, top it, top it, hold it. I love bridges. Bridges are so awesome. Because you never activate like this your hamstrings and your glutes to achieve that tightness right there. Bridges are great. Last one, you remember the tricep? You can do alternating, guys. Lay down on the floor and have the dumbbells above. Right here, one dumbbell at a time. Please, please be careful. Slowly down and come up. Down, 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 low. And lift. Slowly down, slowly down. Squeeze it. Awesome job. Breathe out. Oh, this feels good. And you know what's coming? Hurdle coming. So you better jump on that hurdle. Ha, you're jumping. Oh, this is, now go, Daisy, go. Just watch the dumbbells on the floor. Ha. Jump over lateral. Ha. Jump over the towel. Keep your knees safe. Don't jump on top of the hurl. Jump over. And whew, time. Awesome, guys. Awesome job. Now. We're gonna turn off that clock. All right, we gotta stretch. Let's do this stretch, stay with me. Stay with me, let's do this stretch. Tyson, come on, let's do this stretch quickly and we're gonna clean up. All right, one leg is out, one leg is out, one leg is forward. Hold this stretch. That's the hamstrings, that's the lower back. If you're gonna bring your arm up and over, you're gonna hit the lats, you're gonna hit that lower back as well. Now, if you could lean forward, that's great. If you can't, don't force it. No ballistic movement, no jumping. And switch your legs. So straight out, not on the side, straight up. Left hand on top of your left leg, right arm up and over, and stretch. Stretch, stretch. Hold it, hold it. Good job. Now bring your legs into a diamond position, right here. Slide them in, press on your inner thighs with your elbows gently, but sit tall for me, okay? Sit tall. Yes, this section
chin's gonna stretch. Very good, we're gonna bring left leg forward. Left leg forward, look, leg, right leg behind. Look, I'm sitting on my left leg if your knees are fine. If your knees are not, don't do it. Just lay down on the floor and bring your heels into the glutes. We're gonna lower ourselves down. This is a good deep glute stretch. Hip flexor stretch, the piriformis stretch in your body. If somebody has sciatica, this is a good stretch for this. And now look, the back leg, I'm gonna show you. Without engaging the hamstring, just bring that leg in and stretch your quad. And switch, right leg forward, sit on it, all the way down, all the way down, you're gonna feel it right there. Give yourself a few seconds, then come up without engaging your hamstring, Break that heel into the glute. Push yourself from that front hand so you're above the ground and you're gonna feel. This stretch feels totally different than just regular quad stretch. You're gonna hit those different parts of the quad. Good. Now, listen up, right here. From a high plank position, you're gonna push your hands. Your heels will hit the ground. Your feet are flat. You're gonna push in your hands and shoulders, right here. Okay, you're gonna stretch the posterior side of your back, of your legs, the, the hamstrings, the calves. Walk your hands in, walk your hands in, touch the toes, make sure you're touching them, make sure you're uh, good and long, look how far you've got when you're touching the floor. Yes, barely in the morning, right, you're right here. And then at the end of the workout, look how long you got. Yes, take a moment, stand up straight. This now, take a deep breath in. And exhale, and again, deep breath in, and exhale. Always breathing is so good through the full capacity of your lungs. Like, take a deep breath in today. All right, guys, this was awesome. Don't forget to check in Tyson. Come here, let's do like a screenshot. I wish you guys were here on the camera. Come on, let's do a screenshot. Come here, come here, do a screenshot. Huh? <laughs> All right, we got you guys. Thank you, Johanna, Edu, Paula. I don't know if Joseph was here or wasn't. I thought for a second there was Joseph. But thank you, Jovic. High five for well, fist working bump. out. Fist, yeah, fist bump. High five. <laughs> Edu understands. I said Jovic in Poland, in Polish, right? Yes, yes, just for fun. Why not? Awesome job, write it down, post on Facebook how awesome the workout was. Attached here, 21 days or a free week. Let your friends know, listen up, look around your people, look around, look how people gain the weight. It's, and you know what it is, and they live in denial. They live in denial, they, you, you need to, you are an influencer, you are here. You are a high performer because you're doing this stuff. But then people out there, your friends even, you need to show them the way. The best way to show is by you showing the example and by you just telling them, hey, listen, come on, come on board. Try it. It's a free week. It's 21 days. Try it out. Thank you so much, Johanna. Thank you. Keep on posting on, on regular pages. Get people in. All right, we're rebuilding this community. Thank you so much again. Have an awesome day and we'll talk to you later. I love that finish. No excuses, everybody. Bye.